Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don channel. We're here at uh, Hoover Dam, and that is the Pat Tillman Bridge. There, uh, in the distance, the arch bridge you see there, named for Pat Tillman, former Arizona Cardinals NFL football player, and Michael Callahan. Uh, they both share the name on that bridge. This is looking southwest right now. Hooper Dam is down there as well. We will be driving over that momentarily here as we uh, escape this little parking lot here on the east side or Arizona side of Hooper Dam. Temperature outside right now, 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very warm. There is the roadway there. And we will make our right and go westbound. but it's the closest one to the dam. I don't know. Uh, yeah, parking lot 9 it says there. We are now about to drive over the dam. No pedestrians beyond the point over there on the left. One parking lot over here on the Arizona side charges you $10, the one closest to it, and then the ones further up are free. The Nevada side parking lots charge you money. They have a parking garage in there, which is $10. Corvette there. And this is the official start of the dam. Driving over the Hoover Dam. This is the way it used to be back um, before the construction of the bridge was completed in 2010. You used to have to drive over the dam like this if you wanted to go, if you were like a trucker or something, you were hauling goods between Nevada and Arizona. You used to have to be able to do this. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what this guy's doing. Are you crossing? Are you crossing? I don't know what they were doing there. Anyway, 1931 to 1935, you can see the uh, years on the building there, the exhibits building, named for President Hoover, who presided over the, has the dubious distinction of presiding over the uh, Great Depression when it occurred, and he did not believe in interfering with the market, and so he became much maligned because the country was in a free fall almost as a result of the stock market crash of 1929. And um, his legacy is this dam. At one point, FDR, I think it was 1947, he tried to rename it the Boulder Dam, but then Congress, in a rare act of partisanship, or bipartisanship, decided to uh, reassign the name Hoover Dam, and it's been that way ever since. FDR, of course, became president, well, he was elected in 32, became president in 33, and then he uh, started the New Deal and all of these uh, infrastructure and public works projects to put people back to work and help build up the country. And that he did up until 1941, I'm sorry, yeah, 1941 when uh, Pearl Harbor uh, occurred, December 7th, 1941. That is the bridge there, it's arch construction right in front of us. Cruise America RV there. You can rent an RV. And loop around. Now heading northeast, according to navigation. 1932, it says, on the bottom of that wall. its completion. In an earlier video we walked out to the bridge, onto the bridge. Feel free to check that out in our library. See a great view of the dam, or according to Clark W. Griswold, the dam dam. 
see these transmission lines and power station here. owned by BLM, Bureau of Land Management, a U.S. federal government entity. I believe that's because it's like 89% or something, 85%, something like that, that they own of the state of Nevada. And I believe it's because they want to make sure the government gets any of the precious metals or gems that may be discovered out here in any of those lands. The government going into private enterprise with... Uh, Miners, mining companies. And since we're here at the edge of Boulder City, we're going to drive through Boulder City now. The old way before Interstate 11 was constructed. Take the business route 93. is again the way that you used to take before Interstate 11 was created in 2010. This was the way out to Cooper Dam. And it was the only way. So we would get backed up frequently with all the tourism traffic in addition to the heavy truck traffic that would go and route out there. Cooper Dam Casino and Lodge there on our right. Most folks bypass this now. Dottie's Casino, another one of the chain here in town. One hundred and twenty degrees Fahrenheit. The car reads now. Lake Mead National Recreation Area Visitor Center, half a mile away, and it's down off to our right. there for folks. 
I guess, to take pictures of Lake Mead. Off to our right. And that is the uh, route down to the actual lake shore, Lake Mead. The speed limit in here is 45. Interstate is up to our left. We cruise westbound here on US 93 business route towards Boulder City, Nevada. Sorry, 15. It is now 15 miles an hour. <laughs> That's great. And here we go. It's like we're in a school zone. BC out there on the uh, written into the mountain on the right there for Boulder City, of course. I am not trying to get any tickets today, so 15 miles an hour it is.
City Historic District. Listed as a listed on National Register it says. Back up to 25 for the moment here. This is the town of Boulder City. Come up here to Colorado Street. Silver Indian jewelry there on the left it says. Navajo, Hopi, Zuni, Moccasins, Hats, etc. in there. City center there on our right. Dam Town Ponds Loans on our left there. Very western motif here. Insane Pain Relief. CBG and CBD. That store on the left side. Ace Hardware there on the left. Tony's Pizza. Come up here to Ash Street. On the left there you have the United States Department of the Interior National Park Service, Lake Mead, National Recreation Area Building. like, follow, and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate all of you. And also take a look at our new gear available on our shop page on YouTube. We have these awesome shirts with the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas skyline. So uh, please take a look at those. And uh, always remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you again next time.